Trash fish is a term used by fishermen to describe a species of fish that they can't sell. Fish that would just normally take up room in the nets and was usually thrown back. There's nothing wrong with most of these fish, except for their names. I mean, whether when people, you know, used to eat, for example, uh, things like uh, cod, which they absolutely loved, but they didn't want to eat pollock because they didn't know what it was. And it didn't have a very sexy name. It's basically a marketing problem. History has shown that consumers want to eat attractive things, and if a name doesn't conjure up nice or exotic images, then the fish will not have the snob appeal to be successful. Marketers have to tweak the name a little to make it palatable. For instance, goosefish becomes a monkfish. Whore's eggs become the highly prized sushi called uni, and the slime head, so-called because of its muciferous canals, becomes orange ruffy. A slime head by any other name would never be on your plate. As the major commercial species become harder to find, even more former trash fish are being rebranded and turned into stars. Take the case of the Patagonian toothfish. The name isn't very appetizing, and as you can see, the fish itself isn't going to win any beauty contests. Still, in the late 70s, the fish industry discovered the Patagonian toothfish and believed that the white, cod-like flesh would do well in American markets. So they renamed it the Chilean sea bass, and the rest is Piscium history. According to NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the people who keep track of this sort of thing, Chilean sea bass is not always caught in Chilean waters, and it's not even really a member of the bass family. So every time they want to try to make it sexy, they throw a bass on the end of it. It's all in the name. Even though rebranding might be bad news for the individual fish, it might be good news for the conservation of fish populations as a whole. By broadening the public's taste about what kind of fish they eat, we might avoid overfishing any single species. In the fish industry, creating a market is all about rebranding. Today's trash fish could be tomorrow's starfish. Even the prized lobster was once considered a trash fish in colonial America and was thrown away by fishermen as a nuisance.